This week, 48 Hours is looking into the mysterious deaths of two friends in Los Angeles. Investigators say two young women went out for a night of dancing in 2021 and were last seen at a warehouse party. Later, two masked men were seen leaving them outside two different hospitals. CBS News correspondent Jonathan Vigliotti on assignment for 48 Hours shows us what happened that night. It started as a girls' night out. Two friends in their 20s captured on grainy video dancing at a warehouse party in L.A. It ended in a murder investigation. Your world was turned upside down. Shattered. Jan Sillier's wife, Christy Giles, and her friend Hilda Marcella Cabrales had been dropped off at different hospitals by two masked men in a car without license plates the day after the party. Both would die from a toxic mix of drugs, including cocaine and fentanyl, and in Christie's case, GHB, known as the date rape drug. CBS News consultant and former prosecutor Mary Fulgeniti. That is a drug that's usually used by sexual predators that want to take advantage of women. Jan would learn that hours before Christie was dumped at the hospital, her phone had pinged at an unfamiliar address. Jan posted it on social media and responses came flooding in. There's somebody that lives at this location that is a very unsavory person. It was the home of David Pierce. According to a police affidavit, the women met him at the warehouse and left with him to go to another party. Somehow, they ended up at his apartment. Something or someone stopped them in their tracks because they never got out and they never left. When the case hit the media, multiple women came forward to investigators, all with similar stories about their experiences with Pierce. He lures women back to his apartment. He provides them with a drink. And then they start to feel dizzy or they black out and he sexually assaults them. David Pierce would ultimately be charged with seven counts of sexual assault involving seven different women. He was also charged with two counts of murder and two felony drug counts for allegedly providing lethal amounts of fentanyl to Christie and Hilda. David Pierce is awaiting trial and has pleaded not guilty to all charges against him. Jonathan Vigliotti joins us now from San Francisco. Uh, Jonathan, good morning. Uh, so how is the district attorney planning on prosecuting this case? Yeah, Vlad, so the prosecution plans to combine the seven sexual assault charges we mentioned with the murder and drug charges in one trial. At this point, Pierce has not been charged with sexually assaulting Hilda and Christie, so the prosecution presumably will need to establish a deadly pattern of behavior. Ultimately, at the heart of this case, at least for me, is this 10-minute window of time where these two young women could have possibly left this night alive but didn't. So what happened? We explore that question tomorrow night. And Jonathan, if he is found guilty on all of those charges, what type of sentence could David Pierce be facing? Yeah, if found guilty, and it is a long road ahead, Pierce could face 128 years to life in prison. All right, Jonathan Vigliotti for us. Thank you very much, Jonathan. You can Thank see you. Jonathan's full report, Christy and Hilda's Last Dance, on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS and on Paramount+. Plus.